molecular arrangement and the states of matter. At the end of this session, you will be able to describe molecular arrangement and the states of matter. We have so many things around us. Scientifically, all these things are made up of matter. Matter is anything that occupies space and has mass. Matter exists in three states, solid, liquid and gas. What makes a substance to be a solid or a liquid? What determines the states of matter? Let us explore the answers. Molecules in matter Matter is composed of molecules. A molecule is the smallest unit of matter, which holds the properties of the matter. The common salt we eat has sodium chloride molecules. The salty taste is not a property of a sodium atom or a chloride atom, but each sodium chloride molecule is salty in taste. Water is composed of H2O molecules. A water body is a good conductor of electricity. Therefore, each water molecule of that water body is also a good conductor. The molecules of a substance are never stable and they keep moving with the energy they have. Molecules hold each other with a force called as intermolecular forces. Closely arranged molecules have stronger intermolecular forces. Increased intermolecular spaces imply weaker intermolecular forces and loose molecular arrangement. The arrangement of molecules plays important role for solids, liquids or gaseous states of matter. Let us learn this with an example of water. Water exists as ice, as water and as vapor in its solid, liquid and gaseous states respectively. In the solid state, the molecules have compact arrangement. The intermolecular spaces are minimum and the intermolecular forces are the strongest. Due to these strong forces, the molecules in a solid can hardly move away from each other. The compact molecular arrangement gives a definite shape to a solid. The shape of a solid is retained as the molecules do not alter their position much. When water is heated, the molecules gain energy. They start moving away from each other and lose their shape. This molecular arrangement with larger intermolecular spaces is the liquid state. However, the molecules are not completely free from each other. When a liquid is heated, the intermolecular distance increases and there is hardly any intermolecular force to hold them. This molecular arrangement with randomly placed molecules is the gaseous state. Thus, change in state of matter occurs because there is change in energy. Shape and volume. If you place a solid metal cube in a round bowl, it retains its original shape and does not become round. The compact molecular arrangement gives a definite shape to a solid. The shape of a solid is retained as the molecules do not alter their position. If an applied force changes the shape of the solid, the volume of the solid remains the same. Thus, solids have definite shape and volume. In liquids, the molecules move faster. Water or any other liquid that appears cylindrical in a cylindrical flask will appear round when transferred to a round container. But 
50 cc of liquid from one container will remain 50 cc in the other container too. Thus, liquids do not have definite shape and they assume the shape of the container, but liquids have definite volume. In case of gases, the random movement of molecules does not allow gases to assume any shape. The intermolecular spaces in gases are so large that it is difficult to measure the definite volume of a gas. Gases do not possess a definite shape or volume. Thus, we learned that molecular arrangement, intermolecular forces and the changes in the energy of molecules have an important role in determining the states of matter, solids, liquids and gases.